So we, we have to peel the pick. <laughs> Hello. Sweat and energy and pressure. Group hug. I think that's a great cinnamon bowl. Different goals, different roles. <laughs> what do you call toasting drinks over Christmas time? What? Holiday cheers. Oh. You know what's a good pun to start this off with? Mm. I've got you in the palm. palm. Of my hand. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, this week for an extra special, every, you know, every My Drug Kitchen special, really. This week on the continuously special My Drug Kitchen, I'm joined by the one, the only, Ingrid! Ooh, delicious. So guys, I just have to start off this episode of My Drug Kitchen, as most episodes of My Drug Kitchen, with total transparent honesty. Ingrid and I set out to make cinnamon rolls um, a couple weeks ago. And we did. You guys wanna hear a sad fact? Making the filling is only step number two. Why do we always do this to ourselves? But then I was editing the episode and I decided that I didn't like it. <laughs> and so today when I got off my 20 something hour flight back from Australia, I haven't been gone for 10 days, my beautiful beloved Ingrid picked me up from the airport and I was like, hey, um, can we film in my drug kitchen tonight? And so here we are again. <laughs> Merry Christmas <laughs> and Happy New Year. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling that that was what it was gonna Really? Yeah. Yeah, because every time I try and talk about something, I'm like slightly uncomfortable talking about it. And someone. you move around a lot. You start looking in different directions, except the direction that I'm in. So here we are filming um, a smile for kitchen cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. However, as opposed to last time, where we actually followed the recipe below and baked everything from scratch. Tight, tighter. Oh. Ah! Today we're going store bought because you just got off a 20 hour flight and we already did this once. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, second time, store bought. And this, kids, is a lesson in compromise. Step one is go to the store and buy store bought cinnamon rolls. Bing! Hey, they're already pre sliced too. So fast, so easy. Step two is grease your pan, and if you don't have cooking spray, you can use butter. You have DIY December voice. Hey. <laughs> if you don't have cooking spray, you can use butter, and I suggest using it the Hannah way. Hannah, what's the Hannah way? Can you demonstrate? <laughs> don't remove it from the paper at all. Just slosh it around on whatever you need to put butter on. I didn't even realize that this was the Hannah way. It I really is. Every time I go to get a stick of butter, there's like crumbs on it. <laughs> no buts about it, this pan is greased. Yeah. Step number three, take your rolls, put them on the tin in kind of like a smush circle shape. Now, because Ingrid likes it when they're all hugging, we've squished them all <laughs> towards the center. If you want, they could just be one giant cinnamon roll, because they're all touching. That would be too pure, too good. Last but not least, preheat your oven to 400 degrees and bake for 13 to 17 minutes. You. Now while those are baking, we're gonna get to the real reason why we're shooting this video again. Uh, which is that while I was on the plane flying back from Australia, I was thinking a lot about 2016 and how I wanted my 2016 to be. And at the end of my long think on that flight, I realized, you know, I got some real goals for 2016. Cinnamon goals. A cinnamon goal to me is something that might get a little sticky, but if you stick with it, the results will be oh so sweet. And so that's why we're here again, because I really wanted to make that point and that pun. Good reason. So mm -hmm. what are your goals for 2016? So one of my goals for 2016, well, I have like an overarching goal for 2016, which is to hold myself accountable for my own happiness. For me, the 20s were about like accepting myself and coming to terms with like how I am and why I am that way. You know, like, oh wow, processing events from childhood, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But now like, Oh, like I'm ready to move past that. Like, okay, great. So what next? I kind of feel like the um, quarter life crisis for people is almost like going through another awkward phase. It's like the next stage of awkward phase. That middle school, this is, this is like adult middle school. It is because it's like in middle school, you're like, oh my God, I'm getting acne. Ah, my body's doing weird things. Yeah. And then like at 29, I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting wrinkles. Ah, my body processes hangovers so differently and I'm just straight up slowing down. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, long story short, 
what I'm gonna do about that, and here's my one cinnamon goal for 2016, it's one good solid cinnamon goal, is that instead of during the day being like, oh, this is the time of day that I always get depressed, I think I'm gonna try doing one of the things that people always recommend I do, which is that I'm gonna try and exercise. Outside the bedroom. <sighs> So that's one of my personal cinnamon goals for 2016. I'm really gonna try and stick to it. Is that I'm gonna take a cap. <gasps> oh, the shit. cinnamon roll. Day done. Day done. Day done. Day done. Brb on this point. Oh, cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so now that we've decided to stick to our cinnamon goals, it's time for a sweet reward. Ooh. They smell so good. They look so good. We could open up our own mall. <laughs> cinnamon roll place and go into competition with you know who. <laughs> Voldemort? I would have heard that he made great cinnamon rolls. Oh yeah, now take a bite. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of think the ones that we made were better. Mm, mm, oh my god. Oh, babes. Like a little less Play-Doh-y. Mm-hmm. But they are so good. They fulfill a very different need, mm -hmm. which is immediacy. You know, I think they changed the recipe on us. Mm. Well, Ingrid, before we go, do you have any cinnamon goals for 2016? I'd say that my biggest cinnamon goal is to get in touch with anger a little bit more. And I know that may seem kind of odd, <laughs> but I am someone who has grown up really afraid of anger and I always associate anger with being bad. So expressing it has been really difficult for me even if I feel it. And I've learned that there are healthy ways to express anger. That doesn't mean, you know, jumping up on top of a table and like, because ah! I don't think that would necessarily be healthy. <laughs> But it's just being able to express it instead of internalizing it and kind of having that anger be right here and then looking the other way. Yeah, you know? Because like, probably I'm a little bit frustrating. TPA. <laughs> Before we go, thanks for rolling with the punches. Thanks for adding spice to my life. What? <laughs> Swoon. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Ingrid, thank you for doing this and being here and being willing to film a kitchen that we already filmed because I just wanted to talk about setting life goals for 2016. No probs, we didn't already film this. This is a different vid, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching. Next week I'm gonna take the week off um, as part of just slowing down a little bit. So there won't be any new videos next week, um, but if she's gonna be in the gym. <laughs> If you guys want to see more of Ingrid, feel free to head over to her channel and check out her vids. We're going to be posting one tomorrow. Did I say we? You. You and your independent channel. But we are in it together. Correct. We are individual roles. Meaning if we lift up our shirts. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>